I'm recording this in mid-July of 2022. I gotta confess a sin of mine because it, my remark might make a lot of people upset. But I've been secretly hoping for gas prices to go up and stay elevated. And the reason for that is... Well, the main theme of this year has been returning to the office after COVID. Although, looking at recent news, that might roll back too. I don't want COVID cases to go up. As much as I love to work remotely, uh, COVID obviously has a lot of people suffering. And also, at a personal level, even though I get to work remotely, there are a lot of things that I'd love to be doing that I can't do during a COVID emergency, right? Uh... But high gas prices I can live with. So right now I live out of my car, but I kind of have a good parking spot where I don't have to move my car very frequently. And I've kind of hunkered down during this entire gas price disaster fiasco, if you will. And I think high gas prices will bring people together. Now why? A lot of people will have to resort to taking public transportation, assuming that our COVID situation will allow for that, right? And um, we'll see each other a lot more than just at work, right? Unfortunately, the only time that a lot of people interact with others these days is at work, and it, it's very brutal. And um, as a result, a lot of people have forgotten the human connection, right? We go to work to almost wage war with each other, and we forget that we're one big family. We are. We are. So... I've been kind of hoping for gas prices to go up. We It might be more appropriate to work remotely at that point, and we'll actually get to know our local environment a whole lot more. I'll probably move back to Phoenix, I'll work remotely, and I'll spend a lot more time with the people I live close by over there. Right. Uh, anyway, but unfortunately, it looks like COVID has other plans anyhow. I'm kind of prepared for that eventuality too, right? Uh, the other thing that could happen is a major um, stagflation. But I think that brought a lot of people together back in the 1970s as well. You, you, you read stories about people who could only get gasoline every other day. And even still, it, it's not like war broke out where we didn't have civil war. Uh, but um, we'll see. I think all of that is acceptable. What's not acceptable is a situation that allows the status quo to just keep beating away, right? Without some thoughts on reflections, right? 